do is bring our footage down to new composition. So you have your footage. Let me show you some things. There you go, do layer. Get a new solid sure it's white. Now if you want a blue lightsaber, don't go all the way over to blue. But I'm gonna make my I'm gonna make my lightsaber blue and it doesn't really matter what color it is, make sure it's all the way white. Click OK. So now I have this white mask. And if you have something like this where it's white screen and it has the black on top and bottom, you don't want your lightsaber to be there, right? So what you want to do is you want to take your white solid and drag it down to right below the black lines. So you have that. Okay, let's get started. What you do is you have your white solid. Take your pen tool and click four dots. So now this little white box. And if you're going to make the tip of your lightsaber bent, which most of you probably will, a round tip, take the converter tool, click on the box, and pull down. Click on this one and pull up. So you have those two things. So now we're going to put it there. What I like to do is I like to turn this little eye off so I can, you know, see where I'm going. Put it on your footage. Bend these. Okay. Now, when I first started with After Effects, I had a big problem with this. I couldn't move it. I would go up to here, and I would move it like that and still back here it would be like that. So what we're gonna what you need to do, first of all well, this is what you gotta do. Go down, masks, mask, click on this little stopwatch. And you see a little diamond come up. And every time you move your little thing, it's gonna move with you. Now here's a little here's here's a pretty cool thing I noticed, or you know, Ryan Weaver told me. I'm gonna click up three frames. Watch this. I'm gonna put it up to here. Watch, it'll follow with it, so you don't take as much time out of it, you know. Okay. So, we basically have this. Oh, if you want to put color in, this is going to help you a lot during the end. Click on that little sun right there, and that'll really, really, really help. I, I can't tell you how much that'll help. And I'm going to do my animations, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we basically have our lightsaber done with this one, and I got Eli's done. I don't, I don't have the whole thing done. I just, you know, maybe two seconds. Okay, so you have it done, and you're thinking, all right, it's kind of cool, you know. But you know, sometimes you have a little bit of blur. So we're gonna turn on the motion blur. So when we turn it on, it's going to look something like that. Instead of that, it looks like that. So we have more of a blur with motion. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our white solid, no, we're going to take our footage, go to a new solid, make sure it's black, and bring it down here. And we're going to take our Eli versus Jedge and delete it. Take a white solid, Control D, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. 
So now we have these four. We want to add blurs. Crap, I messed up there for a second. Okay, we're going to go to effect, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur, because we want to blur with it. So we go to 10 for that one. Take that one, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur. 20. Take this one, effect, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur. So now we have more of a lightsaber-ish thingy. Yay! Now we're gonna add the color. All right. Here is the part where you know you're like, oh crap. So you're gonna take your footage, your original footage, bring it out into a new composition. And so I've got that. Take this bring this down so I've got that alright so what you want to do is you want to blend it with it so you're going to go to blending mode screen there you go so now you're like okay what do we want to do now if you want a white lightsaber you're done you're done but if you you know you want a little bit of color in it because look white, sailor, white lightsaber is boring so what you're going to do is you're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, Color Balance, and I want to make his yellow. So normally you would preserve the luminosity, but I'm not going to do that for yellow because it doesn't really work with yellow. For yellow, I do the opposite of blue. There we go. See, Preserve Luminosity does that. And if you use, like, yeah. Okay, so we have all this. And doesn't that look cool? So basically, that's how you make a lightsaber with a flash.